And I think what we're looking at, Johnny, is a situation where right here, right now, we've got some news coming out about Antonio Gibson. So according to Edwin Perez, well, here's the here's the deal. Uh, Antonio Gibson came out and told the press that he's been dealing with that turf toe injury that took him out of a couple games last year and that it's been nagging him in this offseason already and that he's working through that and trying to figure out what that's going to look like. So then you look at Edwin, Edwin Perez at FB Injury Doc on Twitter. He says, Antonio Gibson's toe. Best case, he rehabs through camp, wears an, wears, or weans off the foot plant, and we never hear about it again. That's the base case scenario. Likely case scenario is he rehabs through camp, continued use of the foot plate. He has some Wednesday DMPs and Twitter anxiety racks up. He misses 0.5 to 1 games throughout the year and has January surgery. The worst case, he has an in-game exacerbation plus surgery. So that's kind of the, out, the, the outcomes here, Johnny. My question for you is, this is probably his peak ADP before this news came out, right now mm-hmm. on, on 4 for 4 fantasycom mm-hmm. he is going as RB15. That's in the third round in PPR, 303, RB15. And so my question for you is, this is his peak ADP. Are you still okay taking him peak ADP with this news at 303, or does this slide him down for you? Are you actually concerned? Does this news mean something for you? This it, this news does mean something for me, Travis. Listen, I was a big fan of Antonio Gibson this off season, I was telling people, hey, go out and get him. I acquired him in a dynasty league. Really excited for his upside. And, you know, as far as dynasty goes, I still think the upside is there. So I would actually kind of use this information to go and try to acquire him on the on the on the cheap right now. However, if it's in a redraft league, Travis, and you're talking about that ADP, man, I I am now concerned uh, significantly. Because here's the reality, you know, and I'm going to quote in an article that, uh, you know, talking about this very thing, right? So Gibson didn't need surgery after the season, but it appear, uh, but apparently been a slow process working his way from turf dough. All he still notices, and as well as he still notices pain and discomfort at times. That said, Gibson has been practicing with teammates at OTAs where he says he's been running and cutting at full speed. We also revealed that uh, he also revealed that he still needs treatment for the troublesome toe. Hopefully, eventually, go back to 100%. So, this is something that we're definitely going to want to monitor. Like you said, Travis, in that tweet, when when you're talking about physical therapists and stuff, we tend to believe them, you know, as fantasy analysts, and that stuff's scary when you're dealing with that in the off season. Uh, it, it does throw up some caution flags. I think this will help correct his ADP. If he's maybe your, you know, your third wide, uh, running back, if you go, you know, three straight running backs, or, you know, if he's your RB2, but you're still getting maybe in that third or fourth round, Travis, I think I'm okay with that still because the upside is definitely there. Like you said, like there is still reality that, you know, he can rehab this and that he he comes back fine. But we do, unfortunately, have to look at that injury risk and say, okay, we have to adjust his ADP because of that. And then we also have to look at the history of this injury with other players. And there is a sad truth that this does happen often where they need they do end up needing surgery or have to, you know, Julian Edelman had this. uh, A.J. Green had this. And so there is a lot of concern for me. Are you a gambling man? That's where you have to kind of decide for yourself for fantasy football on where you want to gamble with that. I'm no longer willing to gamble in the second round with this information, but I want to keep it monitored because just last week it was it was it was crazy. Just last week, Travis, they were talking about how Gibson looked great and that they were expanding the playbook uh, to give him more receiving work. To be work. fair, Johnny, like he could still be looking great. And like, that's still probably the reality of it. And I think what we're looking at, Johnny, is a situation where he is just bringing up, he's being honest with the press and he's bringing up something that's just been a little bit nagging and he's like not coming back as well as he wanted to. But this is something that could happen where he's fine. They're, you know, they don't work a ton in these mini camps. So maybe it's something where he's fine. He gets enough rest in the off season between now and then, and he comes into the regular season fine. We're going to have to monitor interviews with him because it's showing, he's showing that he could be honest. Let's see if he can be honest about the recovery and still be honest in a couple months. It's just something to monitor. But I do think as ADP gets drive down, that makes him a complete, uh, you know, bargain 
uh, maybe even at the fourth mm-hmm. and fifth round as your second or third running or, um, you know, your second, third running back, uh, if you if you will. I mean, I'm think excited. about think about how injuries played or the you know potential injury risk played in Alvin Kamara last year. Right. That information about the the epidural in the back came out, you know, weeks before drafts. And all of a sudden Kamara was going, you know, he was like the third overall player drafted right. all the right. way back to the, you know, you are in our draft. He went like the eighth, eighth overall pick. And you saw like, oh, it didn't have any effect. So sometimes, like we said, you could take this information and go and get a player a little bit cheaper or use it to your advantage, you know, play it like you would, you know, anything else and uh, go and try to acquire him because we do ultimately think long term he's going to be fantastic. Right here. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you like what you saw, go ahead and click subscribe. And if you want to watch more fantasy football content, check out one of these videos.